Hi guys, so usually I'm on here on Tuesday, today I'm on here on Wednesday. Um, like I said in the description, we've been preparing to go hike at uh, Kilimanjaro. So <laughs> our schedule's been a little bit crazy, um, getting everything put together. So instead of Tuesday, I'm here on Wednesday. Hi, how are you today? It's good to see you. Um, today I actually want to talk about Kilimanjaro, because the more I thought about it this week, the more I realized that when you set a big goal uh, in your life, or business and I mean a big goal you know like flying to a different country and hiking a mountain kind of big goal it really has a positive effect on you and your business in a lot of ways so I want to get into the three ways that I have seen it mainly um, and encourage you to also set big goals as a result um, and not just think that you have to grind 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 in the day-to-day -day of your business but a big goal can do so much to make everything better by the way what you hear in the background my husband is a super talented backgammon player and teacher so he's giving a lesson right now <laughs> you can hear everything in our house anyways so yes so three big ways that a big goal can have a big impact for you so back in january Udo and i had entered a uh, uh the, the what was it yeah the third lockdown here in israel we had just had to reschedule plans for our wedding for the umpteenth time and we were really missing this feeling of purpose and Ido said okay you know what let's just pretend like we're going to be going to Kilimanjaro in September right um, we have no idea if it'll actually happen again we're doing this in a lockdown but we see you know it's like you know what sure and then if it happens we'll be ready to go um, I didn't realize how important that would be in a time when it's so hard to make plans and um, set goals and feel like everything's out of control. It was this beautiful way to be closer to each other and feel like we had a purpose. And the beautiful thing is, as things have improved, this is becoming a reality. So back in January, it was kind of just, oh, maybe we'll see what happens. Um, but as time has gone on, it's gotten more serious. We've trained harder. And now it's just like we have a deposit booked, we have plane tickets bought to actually go do this. Um, and it has been really good for us, for me, for our business. And um, this, is, this is how. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do when it comes to setting a goal, um, the first thing I learned is when you aim high, everything in your life rises up with you, okay? So I have this story about I almost broke my ankle uh, four years ago. Yeah, it's four years ago? Yeah, it's four years. <laughs> For my 30th birthday, I went to California. I was hiking by a waterfall, and I almost broke my ankle when I was hiking. So ever since then, I've had issues with my ankle, right? So to the point where, you know, I kind of had a little bit of a limp that was getting worse. But, you know, I have a desk job all day. It didn't really bother me. And then, you know, I kind of had, like, pain in my shoulder all of a sudden. But, you know, I just, you know, we're not doing a whole lot, so it didn't bother me. And then, at the beginning of the year, we decided to hike the mountain. So, if you're hiking a mountain, a gimp ankle and a painful body just doesn't work anymore. And all of a sudden, the standard has been raised. And it's like, oh, I need to change things. So, it wasn't until we set this goal to climb the mountain that I scheduled with the physiotherapist. I paid for the, the sessions. That I did the daily exercises almost every day. Not every day. Um... And my ankle's gotten stronger. The limp is pretty much gone. And all these pains I had down the right side of my body, they're gone too. So I, I wouldn't have really been that good about it if I hadn't had the mountain to aim for. Because it, it raised the level, the, having to reach the mountain, reach the level of hiking the mountain, I had to take my health more seriously. So that's what I mean. When you aim high, everything else in your life, it rises up with you. And in the same way, it forced me to raise the game in my business, too. So when you set a big goal like this, like, okay, I'm going to hike Kilimanjaro and be gone for two weeks, completely disconnected from media, from the world. Okay, how do I make this happen? So, and how do I keep getting paid while I'm gone? How do I afford the trip? And so you see how when you set this big goal to be gone for two weeks in a foreign country and still have your business function, it really forces you to solve a lot of problems in an interesting way. So projects that I've been procrastinating on, I suddenly started to take care of. I've been procrastinating on hiring writers. 
um, thinking about how I needed them to help me when I'm at the mountain, that helped me hire them. That brought my business to another level. Um, I knew I needed more passive income while I was gone. I can't, you know, you know, take care of a bunch of done-for-you work while I'm, you know, disconnected from the world. So I started making more templates. It had been an idea I've had for a while, but this made me execute it. So I, it forced me to raise the level in my business. Um, I started creating more processes for my VAs. Um, I started blocking time more intentionally to pre-write the content that I would need to be distributing while I was gone. All of this stuff. And it forced me to raise the game in my business. It moved me forward. It gave me a deadline. It was so, so helpful. So that's the good thing about goals. When you aim high, when you have a great big goal to go for, everything else rises up with you. It brings everything up. It's been so, looking in retrospect, it's been great watching all of these elements that I didn't expect to improve just because we made this goal to go to a mountain that we haven't hiked yet. So that's the first thing. Here's the second thing. When you create one big deadline, it is the best starting point for a long-term plan. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the, of the SMART acronym. This is something that's very common when it comes to goal setting. You can find apps on this. So SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Real, uh, realistic and time bound. So something very important when it comes to setting a goal and getting it done is that it has a date on the calendar. When it has a date in the calendar, everything else can cascade behind it. It is an excellent starting point. So if you have a hard time uh, motivating yourself to get certain things done or you don't know where to start, if you have a big goal, it simplifies things, it crystallizes things, it just helps everything cascade and makes things so much simpler, which is great for me because I can have that issue sometimes. So when you create one big deadline, like I'm going to be gone in early September to hike a mountain, you are able to build backwards from that, to build a to-do list that has purpose, that has focus. Um, not only that, I'm a person who says yes too often. When you have that, you can say no to more things more easily. No, I can't do this because I need X or Y to be in place before this big goal happens in order to achieve this big goal on time. It gives you, it helps you say no. It also gives you focus. It gives you one point in the horizon to look at and walk straight toward it. Not this way, not this way, one point in the horizon. And not only that, it eliminates what James Clear calls goal competition in his Atomic Habits book. So instead of getting you know focused over here and then focused over here, no, we're trying to achieve this goal. And so you have all of your energy here instead of siphoning it off over here, okay? So picking a date for the mountain for us was easy. We had some, we started with the logistics. Okay, what are the optimal times to hike Kilimanjaro? September is a good one. Early spring is a good one. So, okay, that narrows it down. Okay, Ido still has a nine to five job. When can you take that much time off work? Okay, there's a bunch of Jewish holidays in September. Perfect. Now, how long will that take us to save up that amount? Do, can we do it this year? Can we do it next year? And um, so we plan for it that way. Hi, come in. Um, so how long was it going to save up that amount? And it turned out that we needed several months. That September fell in the sweet spot when he's available and um, when he could get time off work and when it worked for the mountain. So that gave us a starting point. And from there, everything worked backwards. Everything cascaded. It made making a long-term plan over a set of months much easier, which I was able to write out in a one-page sheet and put it above my desk, right? So it cascades in every way. So for fitness goals, it helps us figure out, okay, we need to be at a certain level of fitness before going to the mountain. Let's create a plan backwards, right? Um, for me, it was run for an hour straight, which I did yesterday for 7K. Um, for Ido, he wanted to run 10K straight. Um, so Ido created a fitness schedule that worked backwards for us, that worked. Uh, knowledge goals, what do I want to learn before we go? You know, you read ebooks and podcasts and audiobooks, all of this stuff. So you start reading beforehand, you find the books, things of that nature, you work your way back. Uh, monetary goals, what do I need to save every month? You have this end goal, this full amount, and then you work your way back. Okay, how much do I need to save or set aside every month? It clarifies what the schedule, what the plan is. And uh, same with your, um, the goals in my business. You know, okay, how do I prepare my business to handle this absent? Who do I need to hire to help me? How do I need to train my VAs? 
Um, do I need any plan B's? Do I need some other thing? Um, and then it gave me time. It's just like, okay, I need to have someone who's able to answer my messages, handle um, sharing my content membership and things of that nature all by this date. How do I get all of that stuff in line? And that's what's beautiful. It's just like when you pick this big end goal, all of the small goals fall into line really easily. It really makes it simple because it's all pointing towards one big thing. It's keeping you focused, remember? So that's been a really good thing. It's really been a good um, ending point, a really good um, clarifier for how to create uh, goals over this past year, for sure. And then the third thing that really helped is you don't have to be great at everything. You can't be, especially when your goal is huge. Um, so I'm someone who's very independent. <laughs> I like doing things by myself, in my control. It's not something I'm good at letting go. But when you do something like plan to hike a mountain for nine days, um, you learn pretty fast that if you're going to succeed, you're going to have to find help. So one example is like with my fitness, okay? So <laughs> I am not a fitness junkie. My husband in the other room, he loves to work out. It relaxes him. He loves the goal setting and the analyzing. I'm not that person. Left my own devices, I'll work out, I'll do yoga, I'll do runs. Um, but I, I wouldn't have pushed myself to the level I needed for hiking a mountain. But he loves this and he loves to push and he's an analyst with this stuff. So I've entrusted my fitness program to him. Um, he tells me how much to run, what exercises to do, how often to do them. He gives me exactly what I need to summit the mountain and I know he'll push me harder than I push myself and I need him to do that. I need his help to succeed to hit this big goal of getting to the top of the mountain. Also, when we go to the mountain, we have to have guides. We've hired a tour guide, we've hired a tour group, we don't speak the language, we don't have connections, we don't know the trail. We've hired help to take us to the mountain. And we've read stories about people who, when they were hiking, their guides would literally like help pull or almost carry them to the top because the conditions are just so rough for newcomers. You hire the help you need to get to the top. You don't say that you have to do it all by yourself. You accept that these big goals take a team effort. And so you find the team that you need. And this is something I've done in my business. You know, I've hired the help I need to um, get me in a better mental state, to help me create strategies, mission statements, um, plans, automations. I hire people who are better at things than me. I can't make my business goals by myself. I've got a team, I've got a VA team that works with me. I've got subcontract writers that are now on board and help me with things. Um, it takes a team to get to where you want to go when your goals are really big. Um, so you don't have to be great at everything. You just need to work together. You need to find a team that will help you get there. It's about working together for it. So those are the three things, but there are other benefits that I've found and that just aren't worth going into in the same detail. Um, one thing is it's focused my art practice. Um, I was kind of listless there for a while. I didn't know what to focus on, but because I want to paint on the mountain, and I'll probably be painting landscapes and natural things, that's what I've been practicing. I downloaded courses, read books, um, specifically on landscapes and organic stuff, and now I'm being really prolific all of a sudden because I have a, uh, a goal that I'm aiming towards. It's also forced me to develop mental strength. I have to rise to this new level in order to um, accomplish this goal. I've learned ways of dealing with stress, like breathing exercises, tapping scripts, um, grounding techniques, all of these things to help me increase my mental strength and endurance so that I can get to the top of this mountain, get to the goal. I'm a more creative problem solver. I am better about asking for help. That's a hard one for me. And most wonderfully, I've been surprised by what I could accomplish. I've never run for an hour straight and 10 and 7K in a row. I've never once in my life. I didn't know I could do that, but this big goal has pushed me to a point where um, I've been pushed to accomplish it, and I did. Um, I also have noticed my mental strength go up, and not only that, even my husband has said, a few months ago I wasn't sure if he'd be able to do this. He's like, but I've watched you become a more mentally strong person, and I believe you can do this now. And that's great. Again, like I said, when you make this big goal, everything rises with you. 
So maybe you have something in your life or in your business where you're afraid to make a big goal, you want to play small, you want to make sure you can do it, things of that nature. If you have a big goal, I wanna encourage you to set it and set a deadline for it and ask for help to reach it because there's a cheesy phrase that really applies here. It says if you shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you'll fall among the stars still. So basically, even if up here is your goal and you only get here, you still get up here, which is way further from where you were before. And I can honestly say, you know, like, I would be heartbroken, devastated, if this trip did not happen. And with COVID and things like that, of course, it's still an option. But guess what? Chasing this goal has been a gift all by itself, even if we never get to the mountain. Um, pursuing something bigger than me and beyond me has given me tons of gifts. So whatever your big goals are, I would say go for it. It can only, it can only improve you. It can only make things better. It can only make you stronger. So. That's what I have today. I just wanted to encourage you to set big goals and go for them because it's, uh, it's worth the pursuit. The pursuit is the really good part. So that's what I have for you today. You guys know how to contact me if you want some help pursuing those goals with, with content or coaching or training. Um, and that's what I got for you today. All right, I will talk to you next week. Bye.